Thank you for tuning in to episode 30 of CI Survivors. So last episode we had uh, ended with a little bit of a raid and trade. Oh, I like how it rhymes. Uh, so we have a lot of resources at the end of our kill box. Um, and John Jay and Zen Biotic came up with an idea that would have fixed that, which is to create a dead conduit right underneath the, um, the beacon so I could flick the beacon off right before the trade and then turn it back on. Uh, oh well. I should have, but didn't. Oh, wow. We just got visited by bulk goods. Um, all right, well, our beacon is currently on right now. So let's see what we can do here. We could buy some more cows. Why not, right? Get all that fine food going. I already have, uh, already, already have two, why not four? Um, what else can I trade here? Uh, not much. Not much indeed. Let's try to move this beacon around and see if we can't trade some other things. Um, do a little tour of the base. So they'll buy the chem fuel, but I kind of want to keep that. Truth be told, they're not going to buy shells. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Um, is there anything down here that they would buy? Honestly, no. Not really. Alright, animals. Cows go to the cows. And... Let's go ahead and uninstall this. We are going to have problems storing all of the pork I just got, but that's okay. She will find a way. So all the ponds are... And a transport crash. Mata. Kind, greedy, ugly. Interesting traits to have all at once. Alright, Mr. Condor. Let's get hauling. There's still a lot of stuff out there. Some of it more important. All these stuff that decays should be first. Alright, so now we have our hands full of cow. That sounds wrong. But that should be plenty of fine meals for us. These corpses here are far enough away from our walls that we don't need to haul them. So I'm not going to bother. Everything is getting miserably dirty. You still have the flu. You'll get over it quick. Okay, what else do we got down here? We already have shivering hypothermia. Let's get this stuff, I guess. Smoke leaf every day. Not actually a suggestion. Just maybe quoting a song. Alright, Mr. Kuro. Let's get you not caravanning. Alright, 
there is um hmm oh i actually meant to keep oh well i meant to keep 25 devil strand and sell three i did the opposite so let's go ahead and sell the rest of the double strand because obviously there's nothing we can do with the three um You can get rid of the parka. I guess I could buy a poker table. Don't really have space for it though, so let's hold off on that. Um, and I have no idea why I let you exit the base. Especially given your hypothermia. But you'll be alright. He was running out to a random snack rifle, and I kind of forgot. Alright, we still have some stuff up here. This way. To haul. But given that everyone's mood is a little sour... I might be a little bit more careful. So we still have a lot of stone and uranium down there. And surely a lot of bodies. I think I can tap Sarah to do the rest. But let's get these fine meals cranking out. I think what I'm going to try to do is just do fine meals from now on. Given the additional cows, I think we'll be able to manage it. Hopefully. A little bit of R&R &R isn't going to be terrible for him. Alright. Let's go ahead and clear out some of these bodies. Especially the rotten ones. Alright. Oh, there is someone out there. I'll get that later. Condor, what are you doing? You are hauling uranium. More cargo pods of penicillin. I'm going to just call it penicillin, even though that's not technically what it's called. And another bulk goods trader. You know, I really don't need that many all at once. I guess I could check what this one has to sell. Uh, I'll just check with Sarah. Huskies, Labradors... Advanced component. Uh, I'm not sure I need the regular components, to be honest. That's about it. Alright, Ms. Sarah. We are going to form a caravan with you. some good old slag out there. Oh, Condor's already hauling uh, the body. Uh, that's fine. I was just going to go out there and burn it, but why is there a fire? Oh, that's not good. The one thing that I bought that could be burned gets burned. Alright, is there anything else for her to do while she's out here? Not that I can see. Alright, so for some other tips. So I already said the Zenbiotic and Jijan with the Beacon Trick 
Um, Q Lachti, Lachti, Lachtli. Well, I can't really say your name. Um, mentioned that if I had double walls here, I would have a little bit better cover. And yeah, you're right. I would, and I will. So we can do that. Uh, Sarah is still smelting. Let's get her, ideally I'd want her tailoring or something better than smelting. We still have a lot of the kill box to repair as well. Uh, so one comment I've been getting a lot is about that back north rear wall. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with that. This one. Yes, it keeps my base from being double insulated, but it is far more work to move it than to leave it. So I don't intend to move it. Um, the base honestly doesn't get that cold anymore. It, not to the point where I get hypothermia. Um, so I'm not ever going to need to worry about insulation. I'm just not cold. So why bother? Um, and that is why I will not be doing anything with that. It's not a bad idea to try to get double insulated, but what that would mean is that would mean removing three of my wind turbines, which takes a lot of work. I'd have to build maybe these four or something like that. And then walling it up again, which means moving and deconstructing pod launchers because they're kind of in the way, you know, um, or I could double wall it, but then I can't repair the outside wall. There's a lot of reasons not to do it, as you can see. Uh, okay, I have... My wealth tab, as you can see, has skyrocketed due to all of the sniper rifles. So these sniper rifles are probably, unless I get a combat supplier soon, just going to get melted down to um, steel and put to defenses. So I have a little bit of slag here. Let's check this map. I have some slag down here and the remnants of a raid or siege, I should say. And some slag here, ship chunks, some bodies, more bodies. Um, unclaimed steel there. And then some penicillin uh, here and there, a little bit of everywhere. So I'm going to go for even more cleaning up the ice sheet of all that it has to offer. It is getting pretty close to winter, so I do have to be cautious about heat, or rather cold specifically. So I'm already sporting minor hypothermia. Not something you want to mess around with. One of you came up with a Honestly, in my opinion, pretty ingenious idea to um, build up social, which is um, having pawns collapse outside and then being rescued to build up relationships. My worry, and I mentioned this in the comments, was that the likelihood of losing a nose or something like that is high enough that I wouldn't do it. Uh, but I really like that idea. And if Bionics... If you could make a bionic nose, I would actually go ahead and do that. But you can only make, you know, eyes and ears, but no, no nose. Nose gets no, uh, no love. Let's 
Sarah gets back out there. Uh, this time for the other penicillin. Where did it land? Over here. Still shivering. This is more of a summertime activity, but... It is not summer. I don't have that, uh... Damn it. One of them didn't set on fire. Randy, I think that's enough bulk goods. Honestly. I was happy with what you supplied the first time around, now it's just getting ridiculous. Alright, let's see what he can offer. Uh, roosters and hens, on fertilized eggs, another advanced component, why not? Um, more marble, but I have a bunch of marble, yep, really nothing. It's like, uh, it's like the appearance of being nice without actually being nice. Um, bills. Any worker, let's just have uh, Sarah do it. Check that rescue request in just a sec. Smelt weapons by Kiro. Smelt slag by Kiro. Ten enemies. And your name is Bieber? Nope, sorry. Just gonna have, go ahead and say, whatever happens to you, you probably deserve. All right, so we obviously have a lot of fine meals, which is cool. And we have a lot of milk left over to just keep cranking them out. Uh, you guys wanted names for these cows. In fact, Brandon Epstein and a few others said they wanted names. Um, I don't know. I just don't... I don't know what a cow name is. Like, Bessie, I guess? Um, let's say... Puddin. And... Uh... Pudding and cheese, and hmm. pudding, cheese, and cream, and the last one, I don't know. Yogurt. Yep. That is the names I picked. Deal with it. Or cargo pods, that sounded like a whole bunch of agave. Alright, the two legs, an arm and an eye, is also what we want out. That's kind of what we're doing to all the pawns. They can run fast, they can aim and shoot a little bit better. Seems to be what we're doing. At the moment, I'm just letting them sort of sort out what they're, what they're all tasked to do.
cleaning up and tidying up and the like. We are getting a crazy amount of fine meals. And with those cows the way they are, it's just going to keep coming. Alright, looks like Condor. Do you need a more impactful task? Seems like he's just wandering around the base doing silly base things, so let's make him do something more important. Um, first, the run on Agave, because that's close. nowhere to haul this but we'll manage that later now I haven't really ever been offered architect stuff which is the best most bang for your buck I don't know how to feel about that kind of upset maybe You think you're sleeping? No, nah, there's too much stuff to be done. Too much stuff to be done. Working on another bionic leg. So, uh, who gets this one? Maybe Kuro. Seems to be running around a lot. Also, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to heat this room here, if I can. We'll see if I'm able. Heat it up enough to be not bad temperature. Okay, we got another bionic leg. Mr. Kuro, we're going to install one in both legs. Honestly, it would make more sense if I switched the wood and the uh, meals around, so let's go ahead and do that. It'll be a little bit easier. Alright, let's just go ahead and finish cooking for a bit. From rotting, wow, that is how little that we've been... Oh, yeah, I did turn that off, didn't I? Should have realized that long ago. Cargo pods. Are you kidding me? Of jelly. It's a long way to go for a little bit of rubble. Ooh. 
trying to clean up stuff that doesn't need to be cleaned, especially not in the winter. Let's go ahead and fix this for now. Didn't realize they'd be that enterprising. More chunks. Sweet Jesus. Alright, please don't lose a nose. Anything but the nose. Alright, he's okay. Stop trying to woo her. I saw that. Mr. Kuro, you're also going to get a arm. Let's go ahead and... Oh, home is not really in a position to do any surgeries at the moment. So, Mr. Flirty Flirt, you're going to get cut into. So the question was, can they watch TV while laying here? I think that's a yes, but I'm not 100% sure. Although he healed pretty quick, so I don't know. We bionic, bionicified them. Another transport crash. Braz, the Navy tech. Not a dumb human. He probably has a lot of health issues because he's 80. Demented and frail with a bad back. Yeah, he has some, some let's just say some health issues. <laughs> that is more than probably healer mech serum can handle. That was the last of the chocolate. Let's see how fast and productive he is now. Finally, getting those double walls in. In fact, I'm going to make them triples. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Alright, so she's back to making advanced components. It is still bad temperature. Um, right, let's go ahead and pull the trigger on that. And this. We got the steel. And the components. Might as well put some investment in it. Right? And that also brings, if we're getting this warm enough, um, I ought to plan on tailoring in there because that will be faster with the tool benches and all Where's our dead cables? There they are. Alright, more tips. Uh, Matthew Cruz asked if I could go over the social and skills of the pawn. So here we go. Sarah is the constructor shooter crafter. Pretty decent at plants and cooking, medicine, and intellectual. Holm is a real intellectual, but he hasn't researched in a while, so they've slipped. He's also our warden and our chief doctor. Pretty good artist, too, and a good cook. Kuro is also a cook, um, and he's our animal expert. 
And then Condor is our shooter, miner, and farmer. Our, our prospector, as it were. All right, so they're starting to get idle, huh? It's good to know. Uh, and then for social tabs, uh, Helge and Holm, Holm and Sarah are close. Uh, she's an acquaintance with the other two. Holm is an acquaintance with the other two. Kuro and um, Condor are friends with one another. As you can see... Oh, actually, Kuro's friends with Sarah, but Sarah does not return the, uh, the favor. And that would be the social tab. And then, of course, you want to see the wealth tab. Here it is. My wealth items have been going down a bit. I've been selling and smelting, doing what I can in that regard. So we're adding all of those wind turbines. Because now it's still bad temperature, huh? I guess it is midwinter, but in the summer it will be a little bit warmer. Uh, another thing I could do if I'm trying to keep it temperate would be to add some vents. I'll go ahead and do that. That's one surefire way to get it done. Now we're a little low on steel, but that's kind of artificial as we have plenty. Just locked up in sniper rifles and um, locked up in uh, slag. Wow, even more. Up to penicillin. Alright, I'm going to force him to do a little... So it's no longer bad temperature. These vents have worked. So if we look at the work speed here, it's 112%. Certainly faster than it was before. And we're making that bionic eye. Okay, cow food. Condor, you are going to be responsible for some cow food. Stop pulling meals. Nope. Nope. Wait. That's okay. Uh, reconnect. Now, it's too bad there's no bills for uh, nutrient paste meals. I mean, I kind of get why there isn't, but it would have been cool if you could bill it. Where are you running off to? Actually, I'm going to keep going. Doesn't hurt to have an excess. Alright, that's probably enough for now.
Gotta feed my yogurt, cheese, pudding, and cream, right? Can't neglect them. Alright, we're smelting the swords. Look at that. 17 turbines. Okay, I probably made you smell a little bit too long. But you know what? Joke's on you. I'm gonna make you smell some longer. Oh, you are wanting to haul long time out there? Well, you're in luck, my friend. I will allow it. In fact, I should get that soon, too, before I forget, like I do. Um, go for it now. Got to check that cold, though. Yeah, it's seeping in. Uh, Alright, go home first. We'll just keep him on one caravan so I don't have to re-up it. Warm up while being productive. And then... Oh, Condor went for the bodies. Okay, we got that Bannock Eye. Nice. We need... 16 more advanced components for home. The last one to become Bionic. Who is... Mr. Condor, getting a little hypothermic, home finished up the hauling, Kuro is now probably hypothermic, it is of course the third of winter, which makes perfectly good sense about why we're getting so hypothermic. Not sure why he kept all the slag on him when I kicked him out of the caravan, but that's okay. We'll have to put the eye in him eventually, but I'm not worried about that right now. This base is finally kind of uh, humming, right? It's it's we're making good progress. All right, so so some other things I want to do is. Um, Tempted to do an auto cannon turret. Put him here, maybe. That wouldn't be the worst idea. But I'm gonna add some more mini turrets. So I'm gonna add um, maybe add mini turret here. Oh, these aren't attached to the grid, are they? Yikes! What are you waste of potential electricity? Alright, so I'll add some turrets. And then I'm also going to need, let's see. Where's the middle? The middle's here. So one, two, three. Is that even? No, I don't think that's even. 
doesn't need to be perfect. Um, finally getting security together. Now those turrets are going to be hard to make. Actually, those internal walls are... Okay, slightly warmer. Barely at all, in fact. Got to work on the mood. So she's really cranking along on these. Kuro, we got to give you a bionic eye and your red eye. Everyone's going to get the same bionics for now. Whether add more, I don't know. Bionic hearts wouldn't be terrible. That was a thought I had. That's a thought that one of you guys had, too. Um, we still have stuff left to get repaired and rearmed down here. That will come with time. So, just so I can see sort of the overlapping, this turret can aim to the corner, as can this one. These two overlap each other. I'm going to need maybe turret here and here, too. Um, it's a lot, I realize, but security comes at a cost. And then it wouldn't be terrible to, you know, drop some IDs and the like. How is my Plasteel? I'm going to diminish it or deplete it, but um, at the moment, let's see, got uranium, yeah, it's something I'll have to buy more of, oh, exotic goods, speaking of buy, So they have glitter meds and plasteel and mining and they don't have any architect stuff. I'm not sure why I'm just not finding architect stuff. I'm not I'm not saying I could afford it right now. But the fact that it's not being offered is Ooh, another meteorite of some steel. Nice. All right, Mr. Holm. What can we buy? Uh, we have to buy Plasteel. We'll buy all of it. They have the monopoly. They control the market. So they get to they get to tell me what I have to pay for it. Um, where did that land? Oh, that landed out here even though this was off. Well, maybe that trick didn't really work that well. But whatever. Mr. Kiro, what if I made you build your hypothermic? So let's not pretend I did. I'm just gonna, rather than use the zone, I'm just gonna force him to be warm like this. That wasn't worthy of you making a trip. OK, 
Okay, looks like we're getting our first turret. Or not. Having a bit of a brown out. I know all of you are going to say, oh, you need more power generation. I just don't care. There's a lot of um, sort of tweaking and retooling that I would normally do on this base, but the simple fact of the matter is it meets my needs 90% of the time. And that's just close enough, you know? Um... It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be close enough. And that's, I guess, what I'm trying to say. Yeah, the back wall needs reinsulating. Yeah, I could be doing chem fuel. There's a lot of little things that I could be adding and changing and tweaking. Um, but it's mostly good enough, and that's what matters. Condor is really eager to deliver all the resources I need. Not complaining. I'm just sort of letting them do their own thing. Yeah, it'd be a little bit faster if I micromanaged, but as long as they're not getting hypothermia and killing themselves, that's fine by me. Oh, there's another plasteel turret going up. So these are going to be my little sapper surprises. They're getting too cold. Go inside. Sarah, would you do the honors of building the casket? When she's warm enough, I'm going to send her for some taters. Which she is currently. It's funny how much the pawns are worth. You can tell who has bionics and who doesn't. At an immediate glance. Some are worth 6k, some are worth just shy of 2k. anything out this way for Condor to do besides that slag? There's all this slag down there. That's why I've been using all this uh, steel is I know I have so much slag out there that I just need to grab. You know, we haven't even connected these stupid... Stupid, uh wind turbines yet. I'll force Sarah to do that. Is 
There we go, a little bit more power. So we have um, 12 slag, a bunch of ship chunks, some blight. Oh, let's go ahead and how do I do this? Someone was mentioning there is a quick way to cut all the blight out. Orders, cut plants. I'm maybe maybe it wasn't in vanilla they were referring to. Whatever. I can just queue it up like this. And it's spreading. Nothing like a good blight to ruin being able to sleep in, right? And if you're out here, I'm going to put you to work. It's not a threat, it's a promise. Getting a leg for home. We have cranked through most of our plasteel. At some point, I might need to halt the construction of these turrets. Um, maybe I'll halt these ones up here. Because, uh,. I'm chiefly worried that I'll run out of plasteel for the bionics, which are slightly more important. That also doesn't really leave me anything for um, power ar or uh, marine armor either. But that's okay. I'm not quite ready to fire this baby up anyway. Not quite yet. Okay, we got a leg for home. And let's make sure to be given Kuro the meds he needs. I'm not even really checking what weapons he's smelting anymore. I'm just going ahead and smelting them anyway. Alright, Mr. Condor, you are so eager to be cleaning up the base, you get to get more slag. We are doing a really good job of getting through all the abundant um, steel we have. So it never hurts to grab more. Um, I'm going to risk grabbing a little bit more so I can make two trips rather than three. Come on, you got all that lovely bionics in you. Run a little faster, will you? Alright, if 
poem is idle. No, I'm not going to send him on a errand right now. All right, so we got all of the west turrets done. Two of three of the east. I'm holding off on the last one due to a possible lack of plasteel. Uh, let's go ahead and make the conduit so we can turn these off. We are slowly getting through our surplus of um, components, but we can always crap those up if we need to. So I'm not uh, not concerned about that quite yet. So that's some good base defenses right there. Uh, let's go ahead and allow hauling of this finally. All right. Uh, well, I'm almost out of time, but it's a female and about the right age. Minla, the volatile but kind, confused um, artist who's a night owl, who's got a whole lot of wounds. But hey, she can shoot. I don't think she's going to survive. In fact, I'm pretty certain she won't, given the temperature. But what's following her? That's the real question. No doomsday. Which is good. I might want to pick up a weapon. Make sure we're all equipped. My guess is they freeze, but if I'm wrong, it doesn't hurt to be strapped. They don't know what to do. They wanted to shoot at her, but now she's down. So they're like, hmm. Well then. They don't really have a lot of good range. Their longest range is maybe an assault rifle. Go ahead. Try to kidnap me. I effing dare you. you been shooting at? I don't even know. Minlo's just gonna die in their arms. What is possible is... yep, there she goes. Uh, one of these guys I can um, capture and recruit. Probably not an Edward, a sickly pessimist, but Maybe one of these others. Uh, I'm going to do a quick health check. Shivering, 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 shivering. Okay. I shot off your leg and yet you were scurrying away. That's cute. That's a strange name. 
How's your raid going? All right, Nora, are you not all chemical and dressed? Oh, okay. Um, blood loss, great memory, volatile. Paul, Jenny, what about you? You're a brawler, but you don't do dumb labor. Not Carl either. At some point, I'm just going to have to turn around. I'm going to have Kuro start to grab their stuff and walk back. Holm is going to haul her so I can bury her sooner than the rest of them. And by bury, you know what I mean. Health, we're still okay. Double strand, nice. You're a female, and you're missing a lot of being able to do stuff. Oh, we weren't able to strip him. Uh, that's close enough, Mr. Holm. I shot their head off. Jesus, Sarah, you brutal. Alright, that's most of everything I need to grab. How's our hypothermia? It's getting up there. But, uh, that aside, that is... I've gone over my hour, so that's, that's the episode, my friends. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you understand... I'll just sort of recap... I am minimizing the sort of quality of life modifications I can make to the base in order to prepare for the reactor raid. And that's why I'm not going to do the walls. I'm not going to... There's 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 a little bit more tweaking I want to do, but there's a lot of stuff that I'm just going to flat out ignore. Um, and that's in the interest of uh, trying to get the base ready for, for launch. Um, and that has nothing to do with security. It has everything to do with me knowing that this episode is coming to its conclusion. Or this series, rather. Um, so if you have quality of life suggestions for the base, chances are I'm going to ignore them. And I'm not ignoring them because I dislike you or anything like that. I'm ignoring them just because I think everyone's ready for my reactor raids. I think everyone's ready to see crazy huge fights like Michael Bay style. Uh, I don't think anyone wants to see me tweaking my wind turbines and my walls anymore. Um, I'm kind of past that point. So, um, with that said, if you do have any suggestions for me that uh, could be useful and helpful, uh, drop me a line. I'm always still ears. If you want to suggest QL base suggestions that you think I might actually take you up on, sure, go for it. Um... If you have better names for the cows, you know, hey, maybe I'm not a very good namer. I'm, I'm all ears as well. And I hope you tune in uh, next time. Next time should be finishing up the bionics and possibly moving on to uh, raid prep and raid prep. I think I prepped pretty good this episode, but uh, obviously there's more to do. All right. Well, that's enough of me blabbering. Uh, if you liked it, you know. Drop me a line, maybe subscribe. Who knows? Adios.